It looks like Pete Davidson and Emily Ratajkowski have gone as public as you possibly can in Hollywood by attending an NBA game together. The couple confirmed to the world that yes, their relationship really is happening. They had their first public outing in one of New York City's highest profile venues when they sat courtside together at a New York Knicks game last night in Madison Square Garden. They were sitting next to Ben Stiller and Jordan Sparks, so there was a lot of star power in the house. While the two of them didn't have a kiss care moment this time, they were not trying to hide the fact that they were a couple whatsoever. While there didn't seem to be any obvious PDA, Emily and Pete were all smiles and they didn't shy away from the cameras either. In fact, the Knicks' own Twitter account posted a photo of them together from the night with the caption, Pete Davidson doesn't miss. The post went viral and the responses were both hilarious and completely expected. Someone wrote, at this point he's getting fine women from the fact that he's been known to have other fine women. And he can't keep getting away with this. Another user tweeted, I've moved past my haters stage and I'm now impressed and rooting for him. What's really funny though is that most of the comments are still along the lines of what does he have that I don't have? I mean a lot of people still seem like they cannot fathom how Pete Davidson managed to score yet another hot date. But Emily said it herself when she described him as a professional. She also said he's got the height, he's super charming, vulnerable and he has a good relationship with his mom. She even said that it's only other men that think he isn't attractive, which seems to be the case. But the craziest part about their date night was during their celebrity attendee shout out, the in-game announcer called him Pete Davis, and he actually wasn't even able to name Emily at all. Their big outing comes just two weeks after it was first reported that the two of them were seeing each other. Pete and Emily were recently spotted in the Big Apple celebrating his 29th birthday, and photographers snapped pictures of them hugging in a building hallway, probably to escape the freezing temperatures at the time. We know the two of them also attended Friendsgiving together over the weekend. Bumble's chief brand officer Shelby Drummond shared an Instagram post of the two of them seated at her dinner table. So clearly they're starting to spend holidays together as well. A source told Us Weekly on November 14th that Pete and Emily have been talking for a couple of months now. They're in the very early stages of dating, but both really like each other. As for Emily, she's been hinting for a while now that she's ready to get back into the dating game. She told Harper's Bazaar, I can tell you that I have never been single before. I feel all the emotions. I feel anger, sadness, I feel excited, I feel joy, I feel levity every day is different. The only good thing I know is that I'm feeling all of those things, which is nice because it makes me believe that I'll be okay. But interestingly enough, she's also hinted on her TikTok that things between her and Pete are actually casual and that she might be seeing multiple people. She posted a video of her lip syncing to the phrase, I would be with multiple men, also some women as well. Everyone's hot, but in an interesting way. Pete has also been out of the dating game for quite some time now, ever since breaking up with Kim Kardashian in August. In fact, fans have speculated that the reality star might be a little bit jealous with her ex dating Emily. As we know that Kim and Pete started dating after they met on SNL in October of 2021, and they ended up dating for nine months. So to be fair, it was one of Pete's longest relationships. Since then, many people have felt that Kim did not approve of who he has chosen to date now. Fans pointed to a video that she posted of her dancing and singing along to Ariana Grande's song Santa Tell Me, along with her daughter North. And because Ariana is another one of Pete's exes, people seem to think that it was some kind of message. One fan commented, the same day news comes out about Pete and Emily, huh? While another person said, Kim really fired up a TikTok to Ariana Grande after the Pete and Emrata news. But it's impossible to know for sure because Kim hasn't come out and publicly said anything against Emily. In fact, a source told Entertainment Tonight just last week, quote, Kim is not bothered by Pete and Emily's relationship and knows that things were over between her and Pete. She just wants everyone to live their best lives and be happy. So hopefully everyone is able to get behind them as a couple because they're already starting to become a fan favorite. That's all the story that we have for today. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next video.